Jason Rance is a Seattle-based radio host. We're happy to have him on tonight. Jason, thanks so much for coming on. So you just had a lot of violence in the city of Seattle over the weekend. Tell us what you saw and tell us what the reaction from local government was, please. Well, it's almost like we're dealing with a master class of gaslighting, because I know what I saw, and I know what a lot of people who saw the images that I posted online saw, which was violence, which was arson against five construction trailers, which was a Starbucks that was completely ransacked and someone tried to set it on fire. And they didn't, of course, stop at Starbucks. They also impacted some other businesses. But we're being told that it's peaceful, or maybe it's just a few people, a few bad apples at a larger crowd, as if they were redecorating the Starbucks with their rocks, as if they were celebrating police by throwing fireworks at them. What we're seeing is violence. What we saw was a riot, and anyone who says otherwise is lying to you. I understand yeah. that there's some nuance to, to go into when you're talking about a very large crowd and there are like two or three bad actors, but the entire crowd is almost full of bad actors. It started off peaceful on Saturday as they walked to the juvenile detention center. There was about 4,000, 5,000 people. Then they set it on fire, and then all of a sudden that crowd was about 1,500. The people who stayed are the bad actors. The people who stayed are the rioters. The people who stayed were saying some horrible things, and their goal is not to protest against police brutality. This has nothing to do with George Floyd. This has everything to do with a very specific ideology, and I think that there are politicians and media members who believe that this is going to create enough momentum and chaos to get Donald Trump out of office. I think it's a mistake. I think it's going to backfire on them, but I do think some of them are willing to sit by and see some of these cities completely get destroyed. And yes, some people lose their lives. It's an evil position to take, all because they are justifying, well, if we can get Donald Trump out of office, this guy who's supposed to lead us to the end of civilization, it didn't quite actually happen over the period of the last three and a half years, but this time it'll happen if he gets reelected. They've convinced themselves this. I don't know what kind of person could justify harming individuals in the name of winning a presidential campaign. I, I don't think any decent person on either side would ever do that, and I mean it. Evil, people. Great. Evil e people. I, I think that's right. I think that's right. Great to see you tonight. Thank you.